Hello and welcome to learn image processing using MATLAB for beginners. The Fourier transformations we discuss what are the basis vectors. So suppose I have a vector in the two dimensional coordinate system. I can represent it as a combination of i and j unit vectors along across the x and y direction. Similarly for a 3D vector I can represent it as a combination of i, j, k vectors in the x, y and z directions and i, j, k are the basis vectors for each x, y and z coordinate system. Similarly if I have an n coordinate system I can represent orthogonal vectors v1, v2 until vn and my new vector can be defined as a combination of these vectors with a1, a2 until an coefficients respectively. So if I want to represent an image I can represent it as a combination of unit vectors corresponding to each pixel. So I have four pixels here I will have unit vectors for each and every pixel which are these and I can represent any image in terms of these unit vectors with the coefficients defined. Now with an extension to this we have a Hadamard basis so the standard basis is not the only one which can be used to describe the image we can have a basis which is shown like this wherein my black is represented as plus one white is represented as minus one so I know this will be represented as a combination of all ones because there are four ones here uh, minus one one minus one one this would be minus one minus one 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 and this would be one minus one minus one one so I try to represent the same 2161 vector so I try to represent the same image 2161 as a combination of these Hadamard vectors and I can find out the values of these coefficients and then I can say that this is my representation 5 minus 3 plus 2 minus 2 these are the coefficients of my Hadamard space and I then can represent this image in the Hadamard space like this and I can say that this image has gone undergone a Hadamard transformation. Similarly I can extend this to an 8 cross 8 value wherein I have matrices of 8 cross 8 and I will have these basis vectors as 8 cross 8 values this would be one by all ones across the 8 cross 8 and similarly like we saw we can have these vectors. So once the basis functions are defined I will try to find out the coefficients of the these basis images for the image given to me. Once I have found out these coefficients I will then represent these coefficients as the transformed coefficients of the given image. Now binary valued rectangular wave patterns of Hadamard basis don't actually capture the real image gradients very well. So the idea behind using sinusoidal basis is to use smoothly varying sinusoidal patterns with different frequencies angles for basis images. So this is the concept behind the Fourier transforms wherein my basis functions are basically the sines and cosines. So I have a sine wave which is like this I have cosine waves and the transformation coefficients determine the amplitude. So to rewrite any signal by breaking into sines and cosines wave of different frequencies we represent the images in the frequency domain. So my Fourier basis is the family of complex sinusoidal functions with increasing frequencies. So you can see this is the typical formula that we have seen always for Fourier transformations. So wherein my fxy is the coordinate system in the real domain in the spatial domain where fuv is the transformed function in the Fourier domain. So essentially what we are trying to do is we are trying to represent any given function as a combination of sines and cosine waves of different frequencies. So the coefficients would tell me the amplitude of the waves involved. So let's look at this in MATLAB. So suppose I define a function. So suppose I take a value of x such that it varies from 1 to 10 at a difference of 0.1. Now I define y as sine of x and I say plot x comma y. I have a pattern like this. So we know that a square wave is represented like this wherein fx is equal to sine of x plus 1 by 3 sine of 3x plus 1 by 5 sine of 5x and so on. So we try to implement this and see the results in MATLAB. So since we are operating on vectors we can just simply say 1 by 3 sine of 3x 1 by 5 sine of 5x. Let's plot this. So you can see it's getting close to a square wave. I can keep adding more terms to it plus 1 by 7 sine of 7x plus 1 by 9 sine of 9x. So you can see it's getting closer to the square wave. 